Hello, and welcome back. Sorry about that, so I was cut off. So, going back to this Knight of Wands. This is showing a passion, a desire, a goal that you have in mind that you are working at. I also see that the universe is trying to help you by giving you a gift, by offering you something that for a lot of you, you are not receiving what is being offered to you. A lot of you are avoiding this. A lot of you are not accepting this help that the universe is offering you. And so, with that, there is a sort of this, this spiritual retreat in the head and the thoughts and changing your mind changing your belief systems there's sort of this ending of old thought patterns that needs to come in and so there's this journey that you need to go on to change your belief systems to change your thought patterns to change your your mindset and your outlook And again, you are not willing to take the journey that is necessary to receive the gifts that are being offered to you. There is an inability to receive or accept what is being offered to you. There is a lesson that is being avoided by choosing to avoid a situation or to not accept what is being offered to you. And so part of this is seeing through the illusion, seeing what is truly pure and divine to you, seeing through rose-colored glasses, having a positive outlook. This is asking you to change the way that you are seeing things in your life. This wants you to see through the illusion, to see through the fear, to see through the separation, to just allow yourself to accept reality in a more positive way that is suited for your life. So seeing through the illusion is very important for this journey that you will be going through. And again, I see that there is a spiritual retreat of some kind that needs to take place. You need to go within yourself. There are lessons to be learned. You must change your outlook, your mindset, to see things clearly as they are. So this does ask you to sort of remove yourself from the crowd or to remove yourself from what has already been built around you. This structure, this foundation, this group that is physically around you to remove yourself and to go within to do some personal work on yourself. So there's self-healing, there's self-love, there's some self-work that needs to be done at this time. And again, reflection, meditation.
Be fully aware of your own thoughts and your own belief systems and live in your divine truth. Be aware of what is going on within you. Pay attention to the goodness, the positivity, the blessings in your life. This is asking you to have a positive outlook when dealing with this situation, this transition in your life. So that was for Taurus. Now I will move on to Leo. So if you are a Leo sun, moon, or rising, you are next. And if you are a Leo rising with Leo in the first house, this is happening in your first and twelfth house. And we start with the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Wands in reverse. The Ace of Cups. And then we have the Nine of Wands in reverse followed by the Page of Wands. Okay, so Leo. So I do see that you need to change your outlook. This is showing you in an observational mode and this observational mode it's almost as if you are seeing things in chaos you are seeing things going through transformation, going through massive changes, and you have no control of what is happening. And so this is asking you to kind of stay in that observational mode, to kind of just continue to remain neutral and observe the situation, to just allow this process to take place. And again, there's no forward movement. There is nothing to necessarily act on at this time. You are in observational mode. This is asking you to allow things to flow as they are, to not try to force anything into action, to not try to initiate anything, to just allow things to go as they are. And again, asking you to accept what the universe is bringing into your life, asking you to accept what is being offered to you, allow things to flow and 
to be as they are. And this is not necessarily a transitional period. This is not the end. This is the beginning of this process. This is showing that through this work that you are doing and allowing yourself to remain neutral and to observe this situation, to allow it to occur, that is how this doorway opens up to you. That is how this ending starts to come into the picture as you just allow things to flow and be as they are. The universe is setting you up for what is to come. So you are being shown and you will be shown what it is that is going to take place, what is going to be manifested into your reality. This is observational mode. Again, remaining neutral no matter how crazy and chaotic this situation may be this is asking you to continue to remain neutral and to just allow things to flow as they are so that was for Leo I would now move on To Scorpio and if you are a Scorpio rising with Scorpio in your first house this is happening in your ninth and tenth house so this is dealing with your growth. This is dealing with your growth and your development. What is your vision? What is your goal? And what work are you doing to get there? What status, what reputation are you building? What direction are you going in? This is the climb for you. And we start off with the Three of Wands, followed by the Two of Swords, then the Page of Swords in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And the Sun. And so you are being called to go on this journey, to go down this path. And you are being guided, you are being helped, but this is an independent path that you are being called to walk on. Again, your guides are with you. Your guides are there supporting you, but this is your individual journey. And there is a decision that has to take place. There is some initiative that needs to take place. And Mercury in retrograde is a great time for you 
to make that decision, to plan out that decision. Mercury in retrograde is not the best time to try to initiate anything or force anything into action, but it's a great time to plan and to come up with what is that decision? What, Scorpio, are you choosing Are you going to take this path that you know that you should or are you not? And the Page of Swords does come in in reverse. And so you're not being fully shown the outcome of this. You're not being fully shown the truth or the full information of the situation. And this is because this is calling for you to follow your intuition. This is calling for you to step into your own truth and to follow your intuition. You don't need answers. You have the answers within you. This is calling for you to make the decision for yourself. And with the Ten of Pentacles, you can see that this is this outcome that is waiting for you, this beautiful outcome of this structure, this success that you will build up. But this is currently in reverse. This is asking for you to work on this. And so there is this achievement or success at the end of this but this is calling for you to work on this journey this decision that you need to make to get here and again with the sun card that decision is one that should call to your soul, should call to you and your own happiness and joy. This is you living your life to the fullest. This is you doing what makes you happy. This is you being you and being confident and having fun in doing it. And so there is goodness, there is joy, there is achievement, there is celebration at the end of this journey. But this is calling for you to make that decision, to make that choice, to do what serves you. So that was... For Scorpio, I will now move on to Aquarius. And if you are an Aquarius rising, if Aquarius in your first house, this is happening in your sixth and seventh house. So dealing with relating and serving others.
And so we have the world card followed by the Queen of Cups. The Four of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. The High Priestess in Reverse. And lastly, the Eight of Swords. And so Aquarius know that all the options are open to you right now. You could do anything that you desire right now. I'm not feeling any blocks except for you getting in your own way. Everything is open to you at this time. This is a very, very powerful time for you to manifest and to open yourself up to the possibilities that you can create in your life. And it has to be what is truly emotionally divine to you. What truly you feel on a deep level passionate about. What do you value on the deepest level? What is safe and comfortable and divine and serving and nurturing you in your life. Anything else must be released. Release what no longer serves you. And I know that a lot of you are not interested or you are bored in the situation that you are currently in, which is why these openings are coming to you. This is a sign that it is time for you to make that transition in your life. This is time for you to act on what it is that you want. But for some of you, you are ignoring this calling or you are uninterested in this calling, afraid of this calling, hiding from this calling, running away from this calling. And you know that it is time for you to take on what is being offered to you, for you to take on this calling. You know that it is time for you to move forward And it's true. It is time for you to bring the balance in your life. And in a way, this does bring you to a point of being neutral and just allowing things to flow as they are. That is a part of your journey. As you can see with the balance of the duality in this card, there is this feeling of needing to accept everything as it is, not necessarily leaning one way or the other. Allowing whatever the universe brings to you, bad or good, 
It is a lesson to help you move forward to bring that balance into your life. So a lot of you who are off balance or who are not accepting that it is time to bring this into your life, it is time for you to be neutral and allow this. The universe is actually moving you in a direction that is better to your true divine self. That is why there are so many openings. That is why there are so many signs of needing to move forward, needing to make a change in your life. And for some of you, this is relationship. For some of you, this is related to career, to finances, to home, family, friends. But there is this this change that needs to occur. There is a new stepping stone that you need to be open to and allow to take place in your life. And for a lot of you, you know this. It is a matter of trusting your intuition. I feel as though a lot of you are not a lot of you are not following the signs. A lot of you are not trusting in your inner guidance. It's telling you. Your inner guidance is telling you what needs to happen. And again, it's as if some of you are ignoring this. Some of you aren't listening. Some of you are trying to run the other way. But you know in your heart what truly needs to happen. And this is followed by the Eight of Swords. So again, being neutral, observing this, observing what is happening what is taking place a lot of you are unaware of what is going on right now it is like your vision is foggy or unclear you're unsure you're in doubt you're questioning yourself yet in your heart you know this to be true this is your mind getting in the way this is your mind not seeing this because you're not going to see this you're going to feel this you're going to know this in your gut you are going to feel this with your intuition and so for a lot of you all you really need to do is trust in that inner guidance you know what this change what this new experience this new chapter in your life is that you need to accept in order to move forward. So that was all of the horoscopes for the fixed signs, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. In my next video coming up tomorrow, I will be doing all of the mutable signs. So Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. If you are still waiting, for your horoscope for Mercury in retrograde. That will be coming out tomorrow. So stick around for that. All right, I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if this helped you, how this resonated with you. If you enjoyed this, please leave a thumbs up. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future content. All right, have a great day.